today we are looking at a fantastic thing. We can finally solve the issue of the unresponsive matrix and the matrix where you can't define the column width. How are we going to do it? Of course, we're going to do it with Deneb. So what is the issue to which I am referring? Well, if you use Power BI, you know how it goes. This is our matrix and we change the size and it's not responsive. To change each column, we have to do it individually or use a workaround to which there is a video. Um, but if you use Deneb, you do not have to worry about that anymore. So I'm going to take this visualization, I'm going to turn it into a Deneb visualization, and then I'm going to start my editing. As ever, I'm going to choose an empty um, template and I'm going to click on create. Now I have three values in this visualization, weather, visits, and time. Two of those are my X or Y, and the third one is my actual metric, my value. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to put in the code and I'm going to bit by bit explain how to build it. It's not a difficult visualization to build. If you understand a little bit about Vega Light, um, you should be able to get this. If not, then by following through what I'm doing here, you should be able to create it. If you want to learn more about Deneb, again, check out my Deneb videos um, and they will help you too. So let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to specify is my Y axis. On my Y axis, I'm going to use the weather condition. So all I need to do is specify the Y axis and add the weather condition as the field. So I've said encoding Y, my field is my weather condition and my title is no. That's simply saying I don't want that axis to have a title. That's it. For the Y axis, nothing more to do. Next, I can specify my X axis. My X axis is going to be a little bit more work because there are a couple of more things that I need to specify, but we'll get to that. So the first thing I've done, I've said X field time because time of day is the value that I am using. Then I've said axes because now I want to pre precisely define how I want to see the axes. I've said orient top. That means instead of having the X axis run across the bottom as a standard, if you think of like a bar chart, line chart, this sort of thing, I'm saying orient top, which is much more standard when you think of a matrix. Then I've used label expression, which again, you can see in one of the previous Deneb videos. Um, I'm saying that for this field, I want to see the data in a certain way. And this is what I've said. This is a link that I'm going to provide in the video. And I've said time format datum.value is H. And that is simply saying 24 hour clock. That's that. So now I've defined my X and my Y axes. If I apply those changes, you'll see I get the specification error. Why? Because I'm not finished yet. Of course, I also need to specify two other things. In this case, I need to specify a, a mark and I need to specify text. So the next thing that I do, I say, let's create layers. So then I need to define from this point on, we're going to create layers. Everything that I'm doing here, I've already covered in previous Deneb videos. Worth a watch if you're not sure. So there you go. I finish off the encoding and I then specify I want to see, I want to create layers. My first layer that I'm creating is my mark type rect for rectangle. That's what I'm saying. Now, in this case, because I want to create like a heat map style matrix, I'm now using encoding to specify the color. You actually don't need to do this if you want to have a, a visualization that doesn't have a heat map. You can just specify a color rather than saying encoding field scale. But that's what I'm doing. I want a heat map. So I'm saying in my encoding that the color is based on the field visits average or visits AV and that the, the scale is using this scheme and the scheme color is called light gray red. Again, I will provide that link for you within this video so you can have a look for yourself to see what color scales are available. There's plenty of them. 
finally, what I'm going to do is say legend is null because I don't want to have a legend visible in this visualization. Again, if I wanted to have a legend, I wouldn't do the next part because the legend is switched on by default. But I want to say no legend, so I'm saying that legend null. And then I've just closed off that layer. The next thing I do, of course, is create another layer. This layer is my text, as in what values do I want to see in the matrix? And of course, we're going to use the same field as we've done for our color encoding. So again, I'm going to open up a new layer. I'm going to say mark and my type of mark instead of rect this time is going to be text because it's a text layer. I said tooltip true because I want to have a tooltip switched on when I hover over the values and font size 14. Just pick a number. Next comes the encoding. And here I select the field that I want to use for my text. So encoding, the text is field, is visits average. The type is quantitative, quantitative, it's difficult to say. And the format is this comma dot zero F. And that's me specifying how I want the numbers to look, which is zero decimal places. You can see what that means on this page that I'm showing you here. And again, I'm going to provide that link so you can go through it yourself. That depends on how you want to display your data. If I wanted to have decimal places, I would say comma dot two F. The last thing I'm saying color value is black. As in, I want my text to be black. Now I apply those changes and you can see we have a matrix. We're not finished. We need to make two quick changes to the config just to make it look clean. The first thing, search for this word extra and change tick extra to false. That gets rid of this NAN. And the final thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say I want my label angle to be set to zero. When I do that, you'll see that my x axis changes to a zero angle label. Now, when we look at that, what have we created? Something beautiful. We've created a responsive matrix. Oh my God, it's amazing. Truly a wonderful thing to have in Power BI, a responsive matrix. You move it, it adjusts size, and the size is related to the size of the visualization as you drag it, fantastic. Also, if you use the slicer, it will, of course, adjust to the sliced values. So if I change my time slicer, you can see now the columns simply increase in size. And for me, this is fine. Looks good. I like it still. What I don't look like, though, is when I filter on the Y axis, then it filters out to fill the entire visualization. And that, to me, does not look good at all. But it's fine because we can change that. We're going to do it now. And it's really, really easy to do. Really easy. We can define now, if we want to, both the height and the width of the cells. So as you can see, I've written height, step, and I've chosen a number. And when I do that, it changes the height of each cell. So now the height no longer adjusts was I move the visualization, which is good because it's certainly if you have a longer list, we don't want it to do that. And now when I filter it, it filters to the top rather than filling out the visualization. Wonderful. Really happy with that. But not just that. Again, if we want to, we can also say, let's define the column width, not just the row height, the column width. And this is a huge thing. So yes, responsive is good. We like responsive, but we also want the ability to change the width of each column. And I've just done that. So now with height 40 and step 40, you can see we have a nice, perfectly square cell. And as I move the visualization around, it doesn't expand. But in this situation, that's fine because I have chosen to say, don't fill the visualization. Instead, stay precisely as I have defined. And of course, depending on the size of data, the data type, 
all these factors that you can take into account when you're building your matrix, you can set it up exactly how you want it. Amazing. Amazing. That's it. Um, I hope you enjoy this as I enjoyed um, building it and discovering it and having these lovely matrices now in our reports. Um, let me know what you think, comments, if you like the video, all the usual YouTube type things, subscribe, like, etc. That'd be wonderful. Um, yeah, enjoy this new functionality. Enjoy Power BI. Enjoy Deneb. Take care and goodbye.